I'm at the uh, car park for the gondola um, and so I'm just going to go up on the gondola up to the um, top terminus up there and then I'm going to walk down the ridge line and uh, walk back down the side of the uh, bottle path um, I was going to walk both sides of the bottle path like go back up and walk down the Littleton side but there's no bus on a Saturday or a Sunday so I've got no way to get back over here except for walking back over the track so I'll come and do that some other time There's the uh, top terminus of the gondola Just heading up the gondola to the uh, top of the portals So the uh, trick runs down in front of the um, gondola terminus at the top. So uh, that's looking down on uh, Littleton Harbour from the uh, track. There's Quail Island there. You can see up to the head of the base. And then the track just goes down the side of the hill here. So we're just walking down from the uh, gondola terminus. Uh, down to the Pioneer Woman's Shelter um, and then we'll head down the bottle path from there terminus for the uh, gondola and you can see the cable cars going up and down great views from up there of uh, Littleton and Christchurch so Christchurch is out on that side and Littleton's over here so I'm just walking out to this uh, point above the uh, Pioneer Woman's Shelter and um, you've got a bit of a view down both sides so uh, this is part of the Cradle Room walkway and the Christchurch 360 yeah and um, MTB and uh, walking track so we're uh, looking down to the summit road there that's part of the summit road that cars can't drive on uh, it's blocked off at the moment a tracks mark different ways um, that's a Walkways Commission won the uh, Orange Square It's got your standard dock um, orange tip snow poles And then over in the distance over here There's another one of those Christchurch 360 signs And they just use a combination of the three That's the main route of the track 
uh, zigzags down the hill on some switchbacks or um, you can climb over these rocks here to get down to the lower part of the track but I won't go that way I'll just stay on the track there's a little tin down there a few ships getting up steam to head out there's the summit road there um, you can climb over the fence and just walk down the road if you want to um, that's one option um, the track just continues around this way just up above the road There's a uh, high pressure CNG line running over the hills from Littleton to Christchurch um, and it um, comes over the hills just near the Pioneer Women's uh, in the Bottle Path. So that's one of the ways you can get up and down the hill. That's the uh, Pioneer Women's shelter just over there and um, you can see the uh, Littleton side of the um, Bottle Path heading down to Littleton. So uh, in colonial times that was the way that people got from uh, uh, Littleton Harbour over into the Christchurch Plains um, and uh, it was quite a hard trip over there, um, you know you could ride a horse up the track but you couldn't take carts so you, uh, most people had to walk from one side to the other, bit of a shock to the system arriving in Canterbury and having to do that. Uh, just on a point uh, up above the Pioneer Women's uh, Shelter and that's looking down to Littleton and over the other side of the harbour over there you've got um, Diamond Harbour and then at the top up here that's Mount Herbert, that's Mount Bradley and then over here you've got uh, Quail Island and Gibby's Pass is over there in the far distance. That's the old car park at the apex of the bottle path. Pioneer Woman Shelter. And that's the uh, bottle path going down to Littleton there. So that's just looking inside the Pioneer Woman Shelter. Uh, it's built back in the 30s. Um, it was the 100 year commemoration. Basically, uh, commemorating the journey of the pioneers over to uh, Christchurch from uh, Littleton. Used to be able to drive up to this point but um, since the earthquakes the road's been uh, closed off on the other side of the hill there. Yeah. So that's looking down into the Heathcote Valley from the top of the bridle path from the apex and then you can see the track goes down the hillside there and around here is the uh, gondola terminus so that's the uh, Heathcote Valley side of the um, bottle path heading down so um, I'll head down there it's quite a steep path gotta be a bit careful when you walk down there's some um, really fine gravel all over the footpath. It's bad enough walking down here. I rode my mount mountain bike down here uh, a couple of times back in the 90s. Jesus, that was a hairy ride. So uh, the beginning of the track at the top is very steep, but then it um, gets better lower down. But you can see the surface is covered with this really fine gravel. Uh, you slip over all the time. But that's something new. Um, that's a gate and a path down to the um, CNG pipeline. And so you can actually walk down there, down the CNG line, down to the track further down. Yeah.
you're mercilessly exposed to the uh, sun here so you really need a hit. There's a few trees a wee bit further down the trek but not many. There's a uh, couple of places where you can sit down walking on the trek, uh, both on this side and the other side. <coughs> and then uh, up at the apex, um, yeah, that's the other place you can rest. You need it if you're walking up over here. Gives you an idea of how steep it is. So that camera is pointing straight ahead. You probably can't see those women in front of me because of the angle. So uh, there's another one of those seats. I'm um, a wee bit of a slip on one of that seat there. And you can see the um, track's not quite so steep down at this end. We're getting down close to the uh, gondola terminus at the bottom. That's it, that's the bottom of the track down there. There's a rockfall zone for the next 200 metres because you're under this big gully here going up to the top terminus uh, big boulders roll down there all the time during the Christchurch earthquakes a whole lot of big boulders rolled down this uh, hillsides around here uh, one person actually got killed yeah so the tracks were all closed for a long time that's the bottom of the um, uh, pipeline walk so uh, there's that uh, pipeline running up the side of the hill and you can see the grass is all short on either side so you can walk up there up to the uh, apex so about 300 meters from the end of the track um, there's the bottle pass sign So this is a joint walking mountain biking track so you have to watch out for the mountain bikers because if they come down there they've got zero control. With that fine gravel and the steepness of it they can't stop. So that's looking down to the end of the track. About 100 metres left to go. It's a nice walk coming down here. It's not so nice walking up, it's another one of those seats. So that's the end of the track there, um, I can't talk when I get down there, there's a whole lot of people around but yeah. There's a wee small uh, car park at the end of the track um, for about maybe a dozen cars um, so normally you have to park up near the uh, gondola Back at the um, car park for the gondola. So that's the uh, bus stop for the bus from Littleton. Just going to have a look at the timings. Uh, there's no Littleton bus service on a Saturday or a Sunday. So that's it. I can't go down. I'll have to come back during the week and walk down the other side so yeah just back over to the car on this truck
so uh, that's the apex of the uh, bottom path just there yeah up on the summit road